We have a 40 acre property here and we've been here just over 10 years now. Ever since we arrived here, we've been planting with land care. But the problem with the deer is they can jump over any fence that we have here and they were eating our plantings and that was a huge concern to us. We get a lot of inquiry from people in relation to deer creating, say, um, asset destruction, competing with uh, livestock for pasture and damaging fences. Melinda has got a fairly unique farm here in the middle of a, a built up area. She's also got some great riparian areas and a lot of remnant vegetation which is all harbour for deer. Well, the program's been running since 2011 and we've managed to remove in excess of 3,500 deer through ground shooting operations. Our ground shooting operations are all vehicle based and they're nocturnal. These operations are undertaken under some very, very strict protocols and procedures Safety is of the paramount. Wollongong has had deer for a while now. They were introduced very early into the Royal National Park. They now inhabit Wollongong and to the point where they've become a, a pest animal. South East Local Land Services is involved in coordinating this program, working with other stakeholders and land managers in this area to manage deer. It's an area that we can make a difference because it is a new challenge and we can all learn from each other and work out how to tackle this issue together. We've been a long time partner of the program. We're obviously very concerned about the environmental impacts of deer and the impacts on farmers um, in terms of lost agricultural productivity but really the primary motivation for council being involved was normal everyday residents being worried about um, interactions with deer and people having car accidents with deer. Although the data shows that the deer are still continuing to grow in their population, the rate of that growth has been diminished by the control efforts. But also the local impacts of deer have been reduced through the management. We acknowledge that it's a really difficult problem. We're focused on building the relationships and the implementing programs that can be maintained in the long term. So the impact of a deer in a peri-urban environment have a much greater impact. To make the program sustainable, for us we need to just keep working towards it. It's very important that we just don't take our foot off the pedal.